This morning I was in the Faroe Islands. Later this afternoon I was back home. That's where I am now. It's the evening and I've been logging my memorabilia that I've, that I've picked up during the visit. Shall we start off with the, the passes? They're just paper this time, but they are the well, it's, it's the zone one, the team zone. So that means when you've got one of those, you can go anywhere. And I was able to go into the dressing room, on the pitch with the players, wherever you want to go, you're allowed with that particular pass. So that's always important if you want to do some uh, filming. Anyway, when these were given out at the team hotel, I said to Greg Draper, because I saw Greg with the one round his neck, I said, if you, and not doing anything with that afterwards, you know where to send it. He said, it's yours. And after the game, true to his word, he gave me that and I gave him a pen and he signed it. Dear Rev, best wishes, Greg Draper, New Zealand International, TNS is number nine. And then, because I did say to the players on the other table as well, anyone else got any passes? You know where to send them after the game. And Mazza, Chris Marriott, is the team captain. Rev, all the best, Mazza. And then he signed that one underneath. And then last but certainly not least, a fellow fisherman, Simon Spender. To Rev, not a good trip, but always a good smile. And then he's put a little smiley face on there. And then of course signed it underneath. And the team sheet, no programs over there but the team sheet always a team sheet even though they are behind closed doors games at the moment and there you can see b36 versus the new saints fc i've got a couple of uh, couple of unusual items here they're not really memorabilia items really but because they are one-offs and in the future you'll look back and uh, realize the times that we've been through these are my COVID-19 tests first of all you need one uh, for a UEFA game so I've got a UEFA ID there now I've had two of those because I've been to two uh, Europa League games so far this season uh, and then I've got the one that I needed to get into the Faroe Islands with you had a test at the airport and because we had special dispensation, we were allowed to go to the hotel and then out again, because normally you're not allowed to move until you get the test negative, which it tells you there. But we were actually training at the National Stadium when the news came through that we'd all passed the test. So that was, that was great. And then last, but certainly not least, as far as this section is concerned, it's a bag. I know it's just a bag, but I do have a collection of bags that I've picked up over time. And this one is from the National Association of the Faroe Islands, the Faroe Islands equivalent of the FA or the FAW. Now, there was something in there, and that was a very special, uh, but the, what contained within was very, very special indeed. So much so that I think that those two items need a separate blog entry of their own. If you like football memorabilia yourself, I do. I log all mine. It's my own personal online museum, really. But I do make it public so that if people like to have a look, then they can do. And you can check out my website. And it's forward slash football memorabilia. And you'll be able to have a look at all the items, thousand, well into four figures now that I've collected during my time of working in football, all with a personal story behind them, like I've just run through there.